What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're going back to Liliac. Yes, indeed. Liliac fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bop do me a favor. Before you do all that stuff, Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Donald Moyer, BigHam1JB, and Virgil Marion Cosma. They all wanna see me react to this, it is Liliac doing their rendition of the Joan Jett song, I Hate Myself For Loving You. Now, have I heard the song before? Full disclosure, yes, y yes I have. I, I have heard this song more times than I could possibly count. Uh, this is one of Joan Jett's biggest hits. I don't know if it's the biggest hit that she ever did. I think I Love Rock and Roll actually might be a bigger hit than this, but this, this is up there. I know this is up there. Um. So yeah, I've heard the song. As a matter of fact, believe it or not, I've played the song a few times, not a lot. I've only played the song like three or four times, but I, I'm, I'm familiar with it. So yes, I've heard the song before. Now, having said that, I've never heard Liliac do the song before. So this is gonna be interesting. So just full disclosure, you know, not trying to hide anything here. I will not be reacting to the original song itself in any way, shape or form. I'm gonna be basing my reaction, my evaluation, and my score completely on what Liliac does with the song. Is it gonna be a carbon copy cover, or are they gonna put their own little spin on it? Normally, they do a carbon copy cover, and they may do a little interpretational differences with like guitar solos and stuff like that. So, oh, well, hello. Yes, hi. I've got a visitor. You wanna come up and say hi? Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Wanted to say hi. Yes. Oh, she's so big. Such a big girl. Yeah, you wanted to say hi. Say hi. Mm-hmm. Oh. Look at that microphone. Wouldn't you love to play with that, huh? Yeah, that's not a scratch post. Nice try, though. Anyway, sorry about the distraction, folks, but uh, she's been very needy lately for some reason. Anyway, uh, I guess that's all. <laughs> Nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let should we get started? Yeah, let's get started. What do you say? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's put those fingers up because here we go. All right, here we go. I hate myself for loving you, Liliac official cover music video. Wah wah wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Official, there's that word, official, coming off their official page, so. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. Now, I, I will say, that, okay, there have been a couple of times that they have blocked me, but the block has always been either released or the block expires. So why they even bother blocking in the first place is beyond me, but in any case, uh, I'm batting a thousand with them, so nothing is, kept being blocked so hopefully that trend will continue we'll just have to wait and see what happens and hope for the best all right let's do this all right boy let's do this i have a feeling this is gonna be good i i'm just i i'm already expecting greatness here what's cause of all of this Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's your 
there. Yeah, I had a feeling this was going to be good. <laughs> I had a feeling. And uh, yeah, they have not disappointed so far. I like it! I think the lead singer's name is Melody. I think it is. Or Melanie or Melody. It's one of the two. Um, thinking about her style of vocals and her style of, of vocalization, I had a feeling her voice was going to fit like a glove with this cover and i'm i'm happy to say my assumptions so far have been correct um yeah it, it's a carbon copy cover they're, they're playing the song exactly like the original they are taking a couple liberties here and there like like the guitar player with the pinch harmonics uh but for the most part it's it's carbon copy and look there's absolutely nothing wrong with that there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing a carbon copy cover if you're gonna do it you better do it well though you know you, you better you better play the song well, and trust me, I have heard carbon copy covers that sound like absolute garbage. So that is not the case here, though. I'm I'm happy to say I am I, I I'm not pleasantly surprised because I had a feeling I, I was going to get what I'm getting. I had a certain level of expectation, and they have met it so far. So that's good. Let's keep going. Let's see how this goes. But I've been dreaming about the love you do I won't be angry about the hell you put me through Hey man, but you can't treat me right I like that You just know what you was missing last night I want to see you back in time again just to spy I like that. I like that. You want to go back and hear that again? You want to hear that again? I want to hear it again, too. No, no, look, we don't care. Hey, it's our show. Yeah, our show right now. It's our show. And if we want to go back, we're going to go back. Right, Manda? That's right. Manda says so. Now, who can argue with that? Robert. Yes, Manda says so. We're going to go back and we're going to hear that again. That was really good. Um, keeping the guitar solo short. I'm glad. I'm glad they did that. I'm glad they didn't take an extended solo there. It, it, I don't think it would fit. I mean, it, it might. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think having an extended solo on this song would really fit. Um, again, her vocals. Yeah, she's definitely doing Joan Jett justice, especially with the owls. Her, her owls are spot on. 
good lord there's absolutely spot on drumming sounds good bass playing sounds good i can't really hear the keyboard i i, I don't know if the keyboard is actually in this recording or not um i haven't really heard it stand out it, it, it may just be so well blended in the background that I don't really hear it, but it, it's there. You know, that that's very, very possible. I just, I haven't heard the keyboards up at the forefront. So anyway, let's keep going. I want to, I definitely want to hear that octa jump again. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of our content. Like, comment, and share this video. Stay tuned for our next one. Rock on and rock hard! <laughs> oh, it's cute. <laughs> it's cute. Um, gave everybody a little screen time. Why not? Um... There's a lot I want to say, but I have a feeling if I just take a few minutes to think about it, I could take all the things I want to say and I could probably condense them down into like three or four things rather than 20. You know what I mean? So uh, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Liliac with their rendition of the Joan Jett tune, I Hate Myself for Loving You. This was a request from Donald Moyer, Big Ham 1JB, and Virgil Marion Cosma. Okay, I'm really glad I took those few minutes to, to think everything out because I, I was able to take all 20 things and I really kind of compressed them down. And I think it, I think it's just four things, no, it might be just three things. It's either three or four things. In any case, I, I was able to compress everything down, so we're not going to be here for an hour, okay? Um, so let's get to it. Let's start with the score. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that an 8.6. Yep, 8.6. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. Before we go any further, I should have said this before I gave the score. Uh, I'm not taking the original song into account here at all in any way, shape, or form. I, I've heard the original song more times than I can count. I've even played the original song a few times, uh, the original Joan Jett version. So I, 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 I'm not taking that into account at all. I am basing the score completely on what Liliac did with the song. And I got to tell you, folks, I really like what they did with it. Um... The original Joan Jett tune, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. Okay, I, I want to be very clear when I say this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with what Joan Jett did with her original tune. But I got to say, folks, I, I think I like Liliac's version better. I think I do. It's heavier. It has a heavier feel to it. Um, it has more of an edge to it. At least I, I feel like it does. Um... I think her vocals, I, I, 
No disrespect to Joan Jett whatsoever, but I, it, I mean, the, the lady's a legend, so I, I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect her at all. But I personally think I like her vocals better on this. I, I like what she did, especially with those octave jumps that I did. I never saw those coming from a mile away. Um, really nice vocal delivery. I had a feel. Uh, no, I'll, I'll get to that thought in a little bit. That's 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 segment three. Um, yeah, vocals on this were outstanding across the board. All of the vocal jumps I thought were done in really strategic places, not overly done. Um, it, it wasn't like she kept going back to that well. It, you know, she she went to it like two or three times, and that was it. Um, but her pitch was on, her delivery was on. Support and power were all there. Um, yeah, I, I really didn't have any issue with her vocals at all on this. Um, we're going to talk about expectation in a little bit. Instrumentation. Um, the keyboard. I was worried about the keyboard because I was like, I can't find it. I'm not really hearing it. Every once in a while, I, 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 I'm, I'm saying this as... How should I say this? Every once in a while, you're, you're going to hear bands that have parts that you you know they're there but you you can't hear them like it happens with bass more than more than anything else but the funny thing is in this song i could actually hear the bass i didn't have to go looking for it in this case i had to look for the keyboard like i usually have to go looking for the bass um i did find it finally i was able to find it one uh on, on the part where everybody was laying out it was on the course where everybody laid out instrumentally and then everybody started to kind of come in, you know, swell, swell. Right at the beginning, I heard the keyboard. And then unfortunately, guitar and bass, you know, came up and kind of buried it again. Keyboard were really in the back on, on this mix. Now, it was there. And it, it, it did, the, it, it was there more from a resonance standpoint, unfortunately. It really wasn't in the mix, you know, in, in any kind of a prominent way. Um, why they did that, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, it sounded fine without the, the keyboard being up in the mix. I wonder how it would have sounded with the keyboard up in the mix a little bit more, though. I wonder if that would have helped or would have hurt. I don't know. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a reason why they put the keyboard so far back in the mix. Maybe, maybe the keyboard was... Being too much of a distraction, maybe it was just maybe there were just too many cooks in the cook in, in the kitchen, you know, and maybe the sauce was getting spoiled, so somebody had to go. Can't be the can't be the guitar, and it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for the bass. So push the keyboard to the back. Maybe that's what happened. I, I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not a part of the band, so I, I don't know I don't know what that reasoning is. But in any case, I I could hear the bass. The bass was nice. I liked hearing that. The guitar very nicely done. Uh, those pinch harmonics. Uh, again, what, one of my favorite things about this guitar player, um, his ability to use pinch harmonics without overusing them. Something that a lot of guitar players just cannot seem to get a grasp of. There are a lot of guitar players, it, it's like it's like a kid with a new toy. They discover how to do a pinch harmonic. Oh, look what I just discovered how to do. And the next thing you know, like for the next two albums, every single song on those two albums, it's like every fifth or sixth note is a pinch harmonic. And the next thing you know, you got, seriously, you got like anywhere from 30 to 50 pinch harmonics in one song. And it's like, oh my God. No, that's not the case with this kid. Th th this kid knows how to use pinch harmonics tastefully and without overusing them. Uh, the drumming was solid, absolutely rock solid. Anything spectacular about the drumming? No, I, I think the drumming was probably the most accurate thing about the song as far as playing note for note, as, as far as a carbon copy cover goes. Um, her drumming was absolutely spot on, so I, I dug what she was doing. Um, last thing, expectation. Now, I went into this, and I had a feeling. When I, when I saw what I was reacting to, and I saw who it was, and I saw what they were playing, I, I the first thing that jumped in my mind was, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. This is going to be one of the best covers you've probably heard from them. And I, I can honestly say all of my expectations were met. Every single one of them at least met uh, a couple of them a couple of my expectations were actually surpassed so that that's that's really good that's really nice i'm really glad that happened 
Um, but they met every single expectation, especially in the vocals. Um, I had a feeling, I, again, I'm not sure if her name is Melody or Melanie. I, I think it's Melody. Uh, I had a feeling Melody's vo vocals on this were gonna be good. I had a feeling she was gonna do Joan Jett justice. And I, I personally feel she absolutely did. So yeah, 8.6, it's a great score for a great cover. So yeah, I feel good with that score and that is where we're gonna stay. So, 8.6, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.